What is going on Adventure Nation? Today we head down the road from Nashville. This is the Motorhome Experiment. We've had a fantastic four or five days. How long have we been in Nashville? I think four or five days. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't help much, four or five days. We've been staying here with the Hackett's. They have been absolutely awesome. They've been great tour guides and allowed us to mooch talk here at their house. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, we're not done with them yet though. We're gonna make them take us down the road to uh, I guess a famous breakfast spot. That's right, Loveless Cafe. The Loveless Cafe. I don't know anything about it, but uh, it's supposed to be a Nashville staple. So Just let's, it's Loveless? It's Loveless. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> so Nashville was actually really, really cool. A lot different than either one of us thought. Uh, they call it Nash Vegas, which I think is pretty appropriate. <laughs> There's neon everywhere, lights everywhere, nightlife everywhere, live music everywhere. And that's the one thing we came here for, the live music. We like our, like our live music, so. Yeah, it is it. a party town. If you like nightlife, then this is a good spot. Tons of live music, more so if you like country, as you guys know, we're not huge country they fans, a little bit of but they had a little bit of everything. It was a blast. As with every place, we gotta move down the road. Well, good things have to come to an end, so. Yeah, and uh, off to the next adventure. So yeah, the Loveless Cafe was was pretty awesome. Two I guess it up. used to be a motel. Loveless, that's kind of interesting. Interesting name. Yeah, but very good food. Food very was clean, very nice. Food was great, very much comfort food, right? Lots of carbs. Unfortunately, now we have to say goodbye to Sean and Leanne. Bye guys. Although I think Sean might be throwing the beard on and following us down the road, I don't know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> I can see they have hams and jams here. There's a barbecue place there. They have a little gift shop back in the back and then they have an event center back there where they can do concerts or weddings and stuff. Kind of cool. Hi there. Oh, very cool. Ready to roll? This is funny, but... Yep. There's still, 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 Kevin's beard. <laughs> still Kevin's beard is is haunting us. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. We'll see you guys. Name. Thank you. Bye Thank bye. you so much bye. for all your hospitality. Bye, bye now. Bye bye for us. Yes, we hope to see y'all soon. Okay. Yep. We'll catch you. <laughs> bye. Okay. Sean and Leanne were super cool and showed us around Nashville and obviously allowed and us to stay at their house. So that was home. that was pretty cool. And uh, now down the road and see uh, what other people we can meet and amazing places, amazing people. And that's what this whole trip is all about. So along the road we go. I know, I'm sad to live in Nashville. <laughs> we had a good time. There's our cabin. <laughs> uh. Kevin, is that you? Hey, yeah. What about Back to the Future? Doesn't it just like uh... <laughs> What is wrong with you? See you guys. <laughs> See? Just all about having a little bit of fun. Or maybe a lot. So every now and then we have too much stuff going on and we're a little forgetful. And that was the case here. We were 
doing a nice little cruise down the Natchez Trace Parkway, enjoying the color change. When all beautiful, of a sudden, beautiful, actually. beautiful, right? Yeah. And Lori said, "I feel like we forgot something." And I looked at her and my mail. You know that we receive our mail from Vegas. They send it to where we are. Uh, they forward we, our mail to us. We, yeah, general delivery to a post office. So, yeah, Paul chose a post office in Nashville to send it. And we totally forgot about it. Yeah, so we were, I don't know, 60 miles southwest of Nashville. We realized we forgot our mail. So, we backtracked through Franklin, Tennessee a little bit. And where we are now, we're in a Walmart parking lot. Lori's going to do payroll, and I'm going to run up and grab mail in Nashville. So... Beautiful little town. We would have missed Franklin. Yeah, we, we would have missed this if yeah. we hadn't have been forgetful. <laughs> See, I just laugh about the occasion. Paul is just old. I'm you know, pretty upset right now with myself. But this is going to happen when you live on the road all the time. Stuff like this. So you cannot take it seriously. We pulled over on the Not Just Trace to check out the coach. It didn't seem to be running quite right, but I don't see anything wrong with the old girl, but check that out. That is a pretty uh, amazing view. We're just gonna keep rolling. I checked tires, checked underneath, flashlight. Everything looks good. All the way around, everything looks good, so. Keep rolling. Good morning, everybody. We arrived at the Not Just Trace Preserve RV Campground. It's a Thousand Trails Campground. We arrived late last night after a beautiful drive down the Not Just Trace Parkway. Right now we're moving. We just wound up finding a site for the night because it was so frustrating trying to figure out your way around the campground with one ways with signs that you couldn't read and some guy stopped us and said we can't go down this way it's like well because you can't see the one way sign in the middle of the night so we just said you know what heck with it let's grab a a site just for the night and then we'll drive around the campground in the morning and that's what we're going to do while well, we've already driven around the campground found several different sites the first one of which is probably going to be a little short for us but we're going to try anyways and then we'll look at another couple of sites after that, but. The majority of the 30 amp full hookup sites, the majority of them were taken up by full-timer seasonals. There were very few, maybe a handful of spots that are full hookup that are available to overnighters. It's just insane. Let's see. We are we're leaving the Natchez Trace campground, but we're still gonna travel a little bit through Natchez Trace, right? Yeah, we're gonna be on the Natchez Trace Parkway for a little bit today, and uh, we're gonna do three states in one day. We're gonna head down into Alabama, then across into Mississippi, and then back up into Tennessee. So we're literally crossing, I guess, four borders. How does that work? <laughs> Tennessee, Alabama, the Tennessee, yeah, so anyways. Oh, no, Tennessee, Mississippi, <clears throat> Alabama, yeah, and then back to Tennessee. I know what you see. That's a lot uh, well, of states. In, a lot of states. In a little bit. And it'll be in about six hours. So uh, our stay here started a little rough, but then got a little bit better. 
we spent four days in this park just just working only work 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 we didn't explore the area at all i did upload one video in that time and that was a nightmare that was painful <laughs> <laughs> uh, even even our AT and T, we had no T-Mobile at all. Our AT and T was only one to one two bars, bar. even with the booster. But the data was almost non-existent. So we jumped in the car, drove down to Hohenwald, Tennessee. But for the most part, we just stayed right here in the campground. Now it started off pretty rough here in the campground. We did not like it when we first arrived. Now I will say that the campground itself is absolutely beautiful. It's on this, this awesome lake and there's a lot of great sites as far as water and electric. Let, check this out, like this is where we wound up staying, water electric. So you can see our neighbors are non-existent here. Uh, literally there's just a few, just a few RVers in this, in this area. But if we tried to go down to the lake, which we tried to do, all those spots are taken up by seasonal campers. So again, as, a, as an overnight, or if you're coming here with your family for a weekend or a week to try and get a spot by the lake, not even an option. Not gonna happen. Like not, it's not they don't move. Like they literally don't move, so it's yeah. not an option. But they have a little marina there, like a little playa, mm -hmm. uh, beach area, if you wanna go and swim by the lake. Uh, obviously, we're out of season right now. It's about like 52 degrees, yeah. like that. So it's not like we're gonna go swimming. But um, might be a totally different feel in the summertime too. Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. And also, don't come here at night. Signage is very poorly lit. <laughs> we couldn't find our way. What ways were one way, two ways, so it was hard. Yeah, the signage is not great. The map does not indicate what is one way and not. And so, again, ran into issues with that. But again, I'm gonna try try and keep it as positive as we can. The uh, the campground is huge. It's enormous. So there are spots available. It's just, if you're looking for full hookups, it's just, you're, you're gonna be packed in with a bunch of other uh, seasonal yeah. or full-time, not even seasonal, full-time campers. Some of them had like, they have structures over the top of their RVs, like carports, carports and RVs. things. It's just craziness for a campground. It's not what I consider a campground, it's what I consider a trailer park. If you don't have a thousand trails and you're okay boondocking, the national park up here it has an amazing campground that is free. Mm. It's literally semi loops or back ends, uh, very big. It uh, you can go with big rigs. We saw big class A's and big uh, fifth wheels, so it allows any kind of RV and it's free. Right, that's the Meriwether Lewis campground just off of the Natchez Trace Parkway. And so I know I'll try to put that here, in the description. Yeah, I know south from here. There's another free campsite. Uh, just go and check out free campsites on that. Yep. You'll find them there. I will say Thousand Trails. This is another one that is making us rethink our Thousand Trails membership and the fact that we are possibly not going to renew next year. I just don't yeah. see it as being a viable option for us because of the, the experiences we've had. So we'll see moving forward. But uh, we've talked enough. Let's uh, get in the RV and get down the road. Yeah, now, I know you guys might think that I'm a little bit hard on, on seasonals and hard on the campgrounds, but here's the deal. Uh, we, we were just in the Amishville, USA and even their seasonals, everything was immaculate. And that's because that's what the campground expects of them. And they have other, you know, people come in and staying overnight, they don't want the seasonals to scare them away. Now I will say, obviously the bathrooms there were horrendous, which is only gonna be used mostly by the overnighters. So that was kind of a weird uh, juxtaposition there. Here, the bathrooms were immaculate. The showers were great. The uh, very, yeah. very low I, water pressure all over the hole. I never use the showers in a campground. Like, I never, ever. I always use my always my shower here. This was the first time I wanted the long shower, and that's because the bathrooms were immaculate. So, two thumbs up for that one. Yeah, so that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. The water pressure was low all over the campground, but again, that happens in some campgrounds. But bathrooms and all that, the laundry room here was immaculate. We used the laundry room. That was really good and it was inexpensive. So there were some pluses about the campground and just like almost every thousand trails we've stayed at, huge potential, but I'm really kind of confused by what thousand trails is trying to be. Are they trying to be campgrounds or are they trying to be trailer parks? You know, a toss up there on what they're trying to do. I, I, I think they're very confused with their mission. First world problems, folks, first world problems. Always whining. All 
All right, you guys are gonna love this. We came and did this in the middle of the night. Luckily, we had read the directions on the website. Check this out. 11 foot. 11 foot bridge, right? Uh-oh, can't pass. So what do you do now? They built a bypass right here at the bridge. Ridiculous, but brilliant. So here's what you do. And you can see all the people that have hit that. <laughs> You duck down here underneath the bridge. And this uh, bypass is 13.2, I believe. 13 something. And let the car pass, and we're out. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, if you have not read the instructions, I know what we have done getting here. Was that on the website, or where did you read that? Yes, it was in the website. But that dark, you cannot even see the bypass. It's just so dark. <laughs> So I'm glad you read that. You might have read it. Yeah, when you're on these back roads, the state line signs a little smaller. <laughs> Alabama. Woo, woo. It's been a while since we've been in Alabama. Yeah, it's been since I think March. Yeah, we crossed uh, Florida, Alabama, right? And here we've come to a crossroads. We're leaving the Natchez Trace Parkway, mm -hmm. and we're here at 72. Highway 72 is gonna lead us over to Memphis. My conundrum is, Muscle Shoals, Alabama, is to the right, 22 miles. Muscle Shoals is a very famous recording studio, and uh, you, there's a line in the song Sweet Home Alabama that says, Muscle Shoals, they have the Swampers. They've been known to sing a song or two. And they're a very famous band, the Swampers, from the late 60s, early 70s. So I've wanted to see Muscle Shoals forever. The dilemma is it's 44 miles out of our way and probably adds another two to three hours to our day. So I think I'm gonna have to skip it. This is, again, one of those things, folks, that we can't see at all this trip. And that's really close, 22 miles, but... But we'll be back. We'll be back, and I'm gonna have to pass. Memphis, here we come. Well, Lorena, what can we say about Alabama that hasn't already been said, you know? Sweet home Alabama, it was so good to us for the 10 minutes that we were here. Welcome to Mississippi. If you're ever in Corinth, Mississippi, on the north side, on Highway 72, we stopped at Pittman Propane, and the people there were so nice, it was awesome. So, always nice to see that, and fairly easy to be able to get propane, so that's always good as well. But just the people were super, super nice. Well, Mississippi, it was an amazing couple hours we spent with you, but it's time that we went back into Tennessee again. Tennessee. <laughs> so long since we've been in Tennessee. So long. It seems like only this morning. I know. <laughs> Sorry we didn't have a whole lot going on in that one, folks. We uh, arrived there in Memphis kind of late. By the time we hit the campground, it was dark, so I didn't record anything going into the campground. We stayed at the Graceland RV Park, which was super convenient to, obviously, Graceland and Memphis as a whole. And we'll have that in the upcoming video. So this is where we're gonna end this one. If, uh, if it's your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date on all of our travels. It'd be equally as cool if you like the video, and we'll see you again soon in another one. Take care now, bye.